This is Lesson 34, Session 1. We are in our Volume 2 Math Book on page 745. Let's go ahead and get started here with our first problem. We're going to be learning about symmetry. Each of the shapes below has a dashed line drawn across it. Imagine folding each shape along the dashed line. If the two parts would fit exactly on top of each other, when the shape is folded, draw a star on the shape. Explain your answer. So lines of symmetry means that you can fold something in half and it would make the exact same thing. If you're unsure about something, you can always take a, just a plain piece of paper and put it over your shape and then draw your shape by tracing over the shape. So I'm going to go ahead and trace all these. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect but just good enough to where you can kind of see the shape here. Circles are kind of tricky ones. Okay, now that I have those shapes, I can take them and I can cut them out. As you can see, I'm just quickly doing that here. So there's my square. My triangle. My rectangle. My other triangle. And then the circle's kind of a tricky one. Okay, and my circle. So, let's start with our square here. If I fold this piece of paper in half, is it a copy of each other? Yes. So that means that this shape is symmetrical. Now I'm gonna take my first triangle. If I fold this triangle in half, very carefully, on top of each other. Do both sides line up right on top of each other? Yeah, they do. One half of it's right there. So that means it's symmetrical. Now I'm going to take my rectangle. If I were to fold my rectangle in half like this, it would be symmetrical. But as you can see here, that's not how they fold it. They fold it from corner to corner. And when you fold a rectangle from corner to corner, it looks like this. Do you see how this part right here, you can see this, it's not on the folded part. That means that this shape is not folded with a correct line of symmetry. It's not, because you can see that other side there. So it is not folded symmetrically. So that one does not get a star. Now I have my circle. My circle here is not perfect, but I'm going to do my best. When I fold my circle in half, it's exactly no extra pieces show up on the other side. So it is symmetrical. And my last one is this right triangle. And it's folded kind of here like that. Oops, I may have folded that wrong. Kind of like, I'm having a hard time getting the right angle for it. There we go. Okay. And as you see here, when I fold that piece over, I can still see all of this down here. It doesn't fold right over on top of my triangle. So that means that one is not symmetrical. So to tell which one is symmetrical, for example, the square, 
the isosceles triangle and the circle, the two parts fit right on top of each other. The rectangle and right angle after you make the fold you can see part of the front of the shape for example this right here, oh, this is my triangle. Okay, so if I had it on my shape right here, okay, and I folded this side down, I can still see that front piece of the shape. But with my square, when I fold it down, Nothing from the front of that shape is showing. It's all covered. That is how you can tell if something is symmetrical. Let's turn to page 746. Okay, so we already did number one. Let's take a look at number two. This is our vocabulary for this week. It's called line of symmetry. That line, that imaginary line, or that red dashed line that we have there, that is called a line of symmetry. And it's what we use to determine if a shape is symmetrical. All lines of symmetry for a sh square are shown here. So a square has one, two, three, four lines of symmetry. Can you draw a line on the scaling triangle so the parts fit exactly on top of each other? Can we draw a line anywhere on this shape to make it where it would close right over on each other? That wouldn't work. That wouldn't. That wouldn't. I don't think there's any way that you can do that. So it would have zero lines of symmetry. Can you draw at least one line of symmetry on symmetry on each quadrilateral. Yeah, on this one we can draw it this way or we can draw it that way. This one's a little bit more tricky though. On this one, there's not really um, any lines because this doesn't work, that doesn't, that doesn't, and this doesn't because this side is shaped different than that side. So on this one, actually we can draw it that way and that way too on this one. Actually no those two don't work. So this one has two lines and this one has zero lines of symmetry. This down here says explain how to tell whether a line that divides a shape into two parts is a line of symmetry. If it's a line of symmetry it folds over perfectly. So on page 747, our vocabulary for this week is line of symmetry. And then in my own words, it's a line that divides a shape into two matching parts. So a picture of that, we could draw a square and show all of the lines of symmetry for it. We can show some other shapes. My drawings are not perfect, so don't judge me, but I'm trying. Okay, some things that are not symmetrical.
Mm, that one might be. <laughs> there we go. Number two. Can you draw at least one line of symmetry on each quadrilateral below? Okay. This one, I don't think there's any way that we could take that and fold it over. If you're not sure, you can, again, take a piece of paper and draw over it and cut it out and check. But on shape B, we can draw one here or there. So shape A has no lines of symmetry. Shape B has two lines of symmetry. Let's turn to page 748. This is just like our first problem. Each of the shapes below has a dashed line drawn across it. Imagine folding each shape along the dashed line. If the two parts would fit exactly on top of each other, when the shape is folded, draw a star on the shape. Well, we've already learned with rectangles that we can do that. If we folded this down, it would kind of look like that. So that one is not correct. If we fold this over, it's going to match exactly. Ooh, this pentagon. Yes, if we fold it over, it'll match. If we draw this one over, it's going to look like that. So that one would not work. Again, you can always take a piece of paper and put it over these shapes and cut them out to determine if it has a line of symmetry or not. That's the best way to tell for lines of symmetry. So we have a rectangle, a trapezoid, and a hexagon that all three have lines of symmetry, but this triangle and this other triangle do not have lines of symmetry. There are triangles that have lines of symmetry, but they have to be um, certain types of triangles, like that would be a line of symmetry. Or if I change the line, if I change this one to right here, that would be a line of symmetry. So it depends on how you're going to cut it, and it has to be a certain type. So like it has to be an equilateral triangle. That's it for this lesson. I'll see you back for session two.